Okay, so you're looking at building an ADU, an accessory dwelling unit on your property. And now you need to figure out how to finance it. Well, an awesome way to finance it is potentially with a second mortgage, if you already have a first mortgage on your property. A second mortgage of 10, 20, 30 years, fixed, closed in second, can work out really well. Many people take advantage of a HELOC, a home equity line of credit, you can get those and only pay interest only for 10 years, and then after 10 years, it becomes a 20-year fully amortized loan. That's a great way to go. But what if you need more leverage? What if you need to get more money out of your property? What if you already have a sizable mortgage on your property? If you already have a sizable mortgage on your property and there isn't room to get the cash out that you need, if you're talking about two hundred, two hundred fifty, or $300,000, to build an ADU, there is another way to go. It's called renovation financing. We've got all the details. I want to show you how you might be able to make renovation financing work for your home. Okay, here's how the numbers shake out. Uh, assuming uh, that your home might be worth somewhere around six fifty, seven hundred thousand, even eight hundred thousand, I want to show you how we can use leverage, even when there's a large loan or maybe more than one loan. On a particular property because we're going to be basing the additional improvements on the future value so we're going to look at the value of the house with the improvements made it's called an after value so you're going to have a proposed appraisal done uh, the loan that's going to be written is going to pay off the current loans that are on the property plus give you enough money to build your new ADU uh, for three hundred thousand dollars or to make significant renovations uh, so this is the uh, calculation that we use. Uh, you'll see here that we have a current improvements, uh, $600,000 uh, listed here. We're going to assume the future value of your home might be roughly a million dollars with the improvements made. Uh, so that's the number here. Uh, the uh, projected hard cost of this particular improvement for this ADU uh, for the for the construction of the building is two hundred and sixty five thousand uh, dollars we built in a contingency reserve here just in case there's a cost overrun just in case uh, there's a supply chain issue and something changes it could be a multitude of things so we're using a 15 percent contingency or that's probably more than we need but we're just going to take the safe path here and go ultra conservative so the numbers work really well uh, so we factor that in. We also have the uh, architecture, and architecture and engineering fees. We're going to factor five grand in for that. Uh, we're going to factor in twenty thousand dollars in permits. Uh, we've got some ancillary inspection fees here. Uh, we have uh, the loan origination fee. You're typically going to pay a point or more for this type of a loan, and then uh, we're going to factor in uh, what the uh, dynamics are going to be here. So I'm going to show you that here on the next page. Okay, here's an overview with the calculations so you can see basically the reconciliation of the things I was talking about on page number one. Uh, we have our payoff, uh, 600000 for the existing liens on your property. Uh, we have our anticipated appraisal of uh, roughly a million bucks. Uh, we have our $265,000 uh, cash in hand to make the improvements. We've got our contingency reserve in case the costs run over of $39,000. Uh, we have our fees involved. We have our reinspection fee. We have permits. And then we have uh, construction, some uh, construction costs uh, to oversee the project. So what we're going to do is we're going to pay off the current loan. We're going to give roughly $265,000 in hard costs to build a new ADU. And what we're going to have to do in order to make that happen is we're going to have to write a new loan of uh, $946,000. And that's down here near the bottom of the page. We can do that with this program because we can go up to 95% loan to value. This is significant. We have 95% loan to new appraised value. Not what today's appraised value is because today's appraised value is not going to be enough to make this kind of a loan work we're going to be looking at the future appraised value with the ADU or with the significant improvements made to the property. So that gives us latitude to write a new loan for $946,000. Uh, if we scroll down here, uh, 
near, near the bottom, we'll see that uh, there is absolutely no cash, no cash from the homeowner, no cash to, to make these improvements work because we're making the loan large enough to pay off the existing loan. Now, this is a new 30-year fixed. This is a renovation loan. This is a 30-year fixed renovation loan. You can refinance this loan at any time that makes sense. When interest rates come down, you will likely refi, but at least for the time being, you have a 30-year fixed rate loan that's going to pay off the existing loans on your property, plus give you nearly $300,000 to add an accessory dwelling unit. To find out what these numbers will look like for your property, all we need to do is have a basic conversation so we can do the data entry and show you what it would be. If you have questions, feel free to reach out anytime. Thanks for watching.